On the day, June 27, 2015, Executive Decree Number PCM-036-2015 and PCM-037-2015. Executive Branch, Executive Decrees Number PCM-036 and 037-2015. Central Bank of Honduras, Agreement Number 01-2015, Executive Decree Number PCM 036-2015, Detachable for Your Convenience, Section BA, Visos Legales, B1-16, The Constitutional President of the Republic in the Council of Ministers, whereas that the Permanent Commission of Contingencies COPECO as Executive Secretariat of the National Risk Management System has presented to this Council of Ministers the Analysis Evaluation Proposal and Estimated Budget to provide solutions to the communities affected by the drought that is occurring as a result of the El Niño phenomenon, especially those that are in the dry corridor of the country. Whereas that within the framework of Articles 3, 4, 7, 9, 14, 15, and 24 of the Law of the National Risk Management System was formed under the coordination of the Permanent Contingency Commission, the Interinstitutional Technical Committee for Drought Risk Management, and in this instance, the institution that have responsibility for food and nutrition security and risk management, and that it is up to them to design and implement a food security action plan for drought. In as much that the Interinstitutional Technical Committee for Drought Risk Management has determined that due to the irregular behavior of the rains and the low rainfall during this year, productivity in the agricultural sector has been seriously affected in 146 municipios of 12 departments of the country, putting in precarious the food security of 161,403 families. Therefore, in use of the powers contained in Articles 145, 245 numerals 11, 29, 252 of the Constitution of the Republic, Article 9 of the Law on National Contingencies, Articles 7, 9, 17, 18, 20, 22, numeral 9, 116 and 117 of the General Law of the Public Administration and its reform in the Official Gazette on January 23, 2014, containing the law to optimize public administration, improve citizen services, and strengthen transparency in government, and Article 9 of the Law on State Procurement. Decrees Article 1 Declare an emergency situation in the municipalities affected by El Niño, phenomenon and the meteorological draw in the country identified by the Interinstitutional Technical Committee for Drought Risk Management in the Plan of Food Security Action for Drought. Article 2. Implement the Drought Food Security Action Plan prepared by the Interagency Technical Committee for Drought Risk Management through which food assistance will be provided to at least 161,403 million families, both in municipalities affected by severe drought and moderate drought. Article 3. The plan will also provide technical assistance to small producers for the planting of desserts and provide improved seeds and fertilizers will promote the strengthening of the productive capacities of the affected families and the establishment of a family and school gardens. This was a day in the history of Honduras.